whose lights fill the city. There are people everywhere. Uh, yeah. The snow is falling white and pretty. As I stroll on my way to you, how will you feel about packing up today? Um, hello, close time. You guys have seen all of these already if you've watched the vlogs, but this is from Anthropology through Newly. Um, also newly, is it anthropology? Probably. Yes, anth <laughs> anthropology, um, via newly American Eagle and Birdies. That's kind of the deal today. Um, I am, this is the last week that I have with this newly, so I'm going to try and wear something from it almost every day and then decide if I'm going to buy anything currently. I love this coat, but I think I might just like rent it again sometime. Um, and then this tank top, or like, I don't know, like this turtleneck, um, I might buy because it's like a really good layering piece. It's short sleeve, which I like, and it fits in a way that I really appreciate. Um, so we'll see. Um, I will kind of give you my review of the pieces all week long as I wear them. So this coat, um, I really, really like, it's like not super warm. So it's kind of like a light, it's not light though. You know what I mean? It's like a pea coat. Um, I like that it is more stylistic than like a traditional pea coat. Um, I also love the bright red. I think it's a really good color. It fits me in a way that I really like. The only reason I probably won't buy it is just because, um, you know, I don't know that I'll be into it next year. So and it, it, I probably would size down um, a size, like it's a little bit big. Um, so I probably would size down one from what I normally get. This tank, this turtleneck, um, I'm obsessed with and I love, and I think it fits, it's like super, fits exactly how I hoped it would. I love the neck of it. Um, I like that the neck stands like up on its own and I think it's pretty affordable with the discount. So. Those, that's kind of my assessment on these two pieces, but again, I'm gonna wear probably a piece from this newly every day this week, and I'll, I'll update you as I go. We'll see you in the car. Hello, welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. Obi and I are actually together in the car on the way to the office. Um, today is admin day, so basically I'm just doing all of the boring tasks that I don't wanna do the rest of the week. Um, so we're gonna go in, get those done, and then head home for lunch. Um, Obi's also gonna do his own boring tasks, but mainly I just wanted to hang out with him. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and friends. and I'm about to heat up some leftovers for lunch. Um, we ordered dinner last night and so it's leftover day. You might hear Obi's classroom in the background, um, but I'm going to eat my leftovers, watch someone else's vlogmas, which is my favorite. And, um, and then I have a couple, like Obi and I have to figure out healthcare um, for 2021. We just like opted out this year, but then I had all these medical expenses and it's getting really expensive. So. Um, we're just trying to navigate how to do this. So something that we're both very overwhelmed by. So we're going to try and like support each other and then 
reward ourselves in some way at the end because I don't want to do it. <laughs> but tomorrow's the deadline, so we're pushing it. Um, yeah, so let's eat lunch. So we've talked about this before. Um, I just had lunch, but it was like cake out -y, um and there wasn't like vet, like there wasn't a salad or anything on the side or vegetables. So um, I'm like really big on like I want vegetables with like every meal, like at least a hearty amount. And so when I can't or when I don't, um, I've been getting this um, juice. And I, the one I'm getting is Arden's Garden Cold Pressed um, Green Energy Machine. And it has cucumber, celery, apple juice, spinach, kale, and ginger. Um, and I just like drink one of these when I feel like I want more vegetables. So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, and I'm gonna enjoy the green juice and then we will move on with our day. Don't know what, what we're doing next. Healthcare. <laughs> okay, so real quick, I wanted to show you something that I'm doing for myself for my birthday. So if you don't know, my birthday is January 26th. So it kind of works out to do an advent calendar for the month of January. Um, that's like just for me. And so because it's, you know, 25 days on an advent calendar. Um, my birthday is just like the day after I would finish. So I'm going to do one. And I found this one from Anthropology, which I'm not, I swear I'm not obsessed with Anthropology. I actually only started wearing their clothes because of Newly. Um, but then I, then I found this. I'm not like a fangirl, but apparently I am. So um, anyway, I'm going to show you what it is, it's basically a skincare advent calendar. So you get like a sample every day for the whole, you know, 25 days. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but I figured like as a birthday gift to myself, it's like not the end of the world. So I will show it to you. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty um, too. And then you open it up and each of those is like a little skincare set, like something or other. Um, and it's like good brands too, like ones I like and trust. So um, I think this is gonna be a r like really, really fun. I'm gonna go ahead and order that for myself now and um, maybe it'll be here before January 1st. What's this? Cute. Yeah, we're doing that. Okay, so health insurance update. Um, basically, it doesn't make sense for me to get health insurance. Like it financially, like paying out of pocket will end up being less expensive. It's like insane how that works. Um, but I um, did find this company called Sidecar um, Health Insurance that I'm gonna try and use. You can basically, you can cancel any time, but it's much lower. There's zero dollar deductible and um, it'll start within two weeks, which is crazy because my bronchoscopy is like right in the middle. Like um, there's, I don't, I couldn't get it to cover that in time, but um, at least I'll be covered for the next year in that way. So I'm gonna, I think I'm almost 100% sure that I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna look up like some reviews and make sure that it's legit, but so far it looks really good. Um, and that would, that would like have my monthly payments be like so much lower. It will cover therapy, it will cover my primary care doctor, it will cover like everything. So yeah. So I did end up signing up for that insurance thing. I don't know if it's gonna go well. I honestly have no idea if this is like a good idea or a terrible idea, um, but we're gonna try it out. It's way more affordable um, than me getting health insurance through like Blue Cross Blue Cross Bruce Shield or whatever. So um, I'm gonna try that. It might be a mess, it might not work out. I'm hopeful. Um, so that's done. Now I need to film some B-roll for a video that I'm doing later this week. The December Hits Misses and Maybes. I just need to film like the products that I'm gonna be talking about. And then um, our little should be here in like 20 minutes. Um, and we'll hang out, we'll hang out and do kiddo stuff. So, yeah. 
Um, so our little is here. I think we're gonna play a little bit of Mario Kart Home Circuit. And I think our Nespresso pods, the new ones, should be here soon. And I'm kind of like waiting on afternoon coffee. I'm like stretching it because I really wanna try it. Um, and I can see that the delivery truck is like in our neighborhood. Um, so they should be here soon, but um, they're not here yet. So we're, we're gonna give it until four. <laughs> okay, so I just wanna show you the situation we're in. That's my house, that's this truck. It's 4 p.m. I don't really wanna drink coffee much later, but like, and I don't know what their route is. I don't know if like, they're gonna be here in a second or if they're gonna like go up here and like come back. The drama continues with this package because it is now 425 and the truck is farther away but in the direction it's pointed in the direction of where we live and i just want it to... here i'll show you the first time we looked at it it was here so now it's here but it's moving and I just know as soon as I make coffee, they'll be here. It turns out being pointed in my direction was arbitrary. They are moving further away from my house. <laughs> We're making coffee. Um, and if the delivery arrives the moment I put this coffee in the cup, we'll see how reckless I decide to be. <laughs> UPS. I oh, knew it! I hope that's UPS you. just came with the coffee. Look at where this coffee is. I, I knew it. Okay, so the coffee is here, mid-volcano making, and predictably after I'd already ordered, already made coffee. I think it's like small. What do we got? This is what it looks like. And we're just gonna try it because YOLO, you know? Um, and it's a single shot, so that's good information. We have hijinks happening in the other room. All right. Okay, so this is exciting because up until now, the Virtuo hasn't had any like other options in terms of like buying from a third party. Um, but now they do. And I already love, I'm like already a fan of the Blondros from Starbucks. So this is exciting. We're gonna try it. It's good. It's like as good. This is really anticlimactic. Climatic? Climatic? Climatic. Um, because it's as good as the one we get from, as the single shot that we get. But I'll try it with milk tomorrow. And we'll see how good it is with milk. It was a very exciting meal experience because we also got a mystery gift for Ford that I'm pretty sure we're about to play with. And then... Well, we are about to play, <laughs> Your calculations are correct. 
And then our HelloFresh. I'll show you what we got. So we used to only get the veggie, but then we started eating meat a little more often. So this one's actually like a pretty meat heavy week, but normally we do get like mostly veg. But um, this, we got the roasted veggie farro balls. Um, and then we got the sesame soy pork balls and beef ragu spaghetti. One of the things I love about HelloFresh, I sound sponsored. <laughs> um, one of the things I love about HelloFresh though is that they do like sneak vegetables into everything. So like it's spaghetti, but they also sneak zucchini in there. And like um, this has got like carrots and cilantro and um, this one's not as veggie heavy. But this one's like mostly vegetables. And then this guy you have, this is like one of our favorite ones. It's the Ancho Barbecue Sloppy Joe's. And in the Sloppy Joe, um, there's not as much, but they do a side of potatoes and sometimes they're sweet potatoes. It's pretty, it's always like really good. Um, and it makes you feel like you're eating from a restaurant when you're really making food at home. And I swear we order takeout less because of it, or at least we traditionally have. But anyway, yeah, that's what I got. I'm gonna drink this guy. And we're gonna, check out some swords with the boy. Um, okay, so I thought um, today it was like a little bit of a smaller day in terms of a vlog. And so one of the things I had on my list of things to talk about with you all um, while we're doing Vlogmas is business expenses that I am really grateful that I took on this year. And um, just share this with you because I know that when I, especially when I was in the beginning stages of business, I struggled <clears throat> to just like know the secrets, right? Like what, what are people using for payroll? What are people using for contracts? Um, and so I wanted to go ahead and share those with you here. And um, I have, for some of them, I have affiliate codes and links. Um, I'll try to put all the links in the, in the description box. Um, and if I forget, just leave a comment and let me know because I, I want you guys to have them obviously. Um, but I'll also try and like let you know which ones are affiliates and which ones aren't just for your own heads up. Um, so the first one it is my payroll company and I use a company called Gusto. And this company, so they're basically designed for small business owners. Like you just go in, that you add a new employee, then it sets you up with everything. Like you input their, um, like their cards that you need from them, you know, like social security card, driver's license. Um, you can set their hours, you can set their benefits, all of it's just like in there automatically and it does all the tax stuff for you, which is huge, right? Um, so I do have a Gusto affiliate link, so I'll put that in the comments below as well. Then um, we have HoneyBook, which is what I use for invoicing, um, email correspondence that like needs to be organized, I'll explain that in a second. Um, like template emails, contracts, um, if I need to like put up a formal proposal for something, all of that happens in HoneyBook. HoneyBook was a lifesaver for me this year in three specific ways. The first one is organizing my summit. So every year I do a summit, and so basically I have to send the same email to like 40 people at the same time, um, and I have to send them a questionnaire, which is also, you can do that in HoneyBook. Like all of these things, that, and they have to sign a contract, all of this stuff that I have to do in HoneyBook. And then also it shows me if they've read it. So when you're doing a summit, sometimes people will like just kind of ghost you and you can get the indication of like, are they not reading these emails? Or are they ghosting me by, um, you know, by having read receipts on all the emails that you send? That's like, so it just helps you to organize and keep track of everybody. Um, you can kind of put, you can put like a to-do list, like a progress list. So you can kind of see where everybody's at. So if you're doing like a big project like that, it's really helpful. Um, the second thing that it helped me with this year is speaking engagement. So all of my invoicing, all of my contracts, um, for both speaking engagement and brand deals. Um, like if I did a sponsored post or a podcast ad that I was like invoicing for, um, and then I kept all of that in there as well. Contracts, all all of that was there. Um, the third way that HoneyBook was a lifesaver this year was just 
being the housing point for my contracts and just having like an easy place for me to go search for them. Which brings me to the legal page, which uh, I should tell you that HoneyBook offers 50% off of a year of their services if you use if you do use my affiliate link and I'll put that in the comments below. Um, so legal page is the third one. If you need like formal contracts, you wanna make sure your contracts are legit, go check out legal page. It's basically like a library of contracts um, and things along those lines. I had an affiliate link for them. I don't know if it's still relevant, but either way, go check them out in the description. Um, the third one is, the fourth one is a really big one and it's um, recurring profit. If you are a business owner who is trying to get from um, having a service-based business or you're just trying to automate your marketing, then recurrent profit is probably a really good fit. Um, it was a huge game changer for me in terms of just like committing to a sustainable marketing plan and committing to like a vision for like where I want to be putting my time and my energy. And I've already like in one week of launching using their methods, like I've made back and more what I will pay for in the year of my membership. Um, so I will say like it's been a game changer for me in terms of e like ease uh, and, and marketing. The other big thing is that her, Haley is the girl who runs it. She is like so, um, like I love her teaching style because she's very direct very blunt, but also she like wants you to like your business and she wants it to be fun. So she always points it back to like, yeah, but it's your business. But he, she's pretty strict about like, this is the method. This is what's gonna work. Like, I want you to follow the method, um, which can be a little bit like triggering from a personality type like mine who likes to do what she wants when she wants to do it. Um, however, it it's actually like a growth edge for me. It's like the right move for me in terms of committing to a marketing plan. Um, so go check out Recurring Profit. I'll link it in the comments below. I don't have an affiliate link, but she does offer a kickback to me. So if you do end up signing up, she does do referrals. So just let her know that I sent you. Um, that would mean a lot to me. Fifth one that I do not regret this year was my office. Um, so when all of the craziness of 2020 went down. Um, I We were in a shared office space. We ended up moving out of that office space because obviously we weren't gonna be using it. Um, and then I had to like kind of make the decision, do I wanna get a private office or do I wanna work from home? Um, and at first working from home was awesome, but then eventually it was just time. Um, and I ended up signing on for a private office. And I will say that is one of the best decisions that I made this year um, because it, just having a space where I can go and I know it's gonna be quiet and I know that I can record comfortably and I don't feel like I'm bothering my family or like taking over our house um, is a really big deal just in terms of like mental health. I will also say I'm so much more productive there that I can get more work done in less time, which means more time at home ultimately. Um, I know that I can't like recommend my office to you, but I can say if you're on the fence like I was this year about whether or not you should have a workspace that is yours and yours alone, um, I encourage you to figure out a way to make that possible. I think it is well worth it. Okay, the sixth one is a, there's, I have two on here that I'm like, is that a business expense? Can you count it? Um, but my Nespresso, um, so I have an Nespresso at home and then I have one at the office and I will tell you that it is just the greatest gift because pre 2020, I was going out to coffee a lot and, um, I always say my coffee budget was about $400 a month because I was, um, I was just going twice a day, almost every single day, sometimes three times a day. I was working there. It was where I would do my self care. Like so much money on coffee. And now I, you know, each of the machines cost me about that much. What I was spending in a month on coffee, I spent on the machines. Um, and then I, now our, our coffee budget for both Obi and I is like a hundred dollars. Um, and so it's also just like this really fun treat that we have in our life. And so yes, it, and maybe it's not like a business expense technically, but I do have one in my office and I think that counts. But it is one of the things I've spent money on that I regretted the least this year. Next is Skillshare. Um, Skillshare is amazing. 
Like, just like mind-blowingly awesome. Um, I think a lot of you guys have probably heard of something like Masterclass, but basically you sign on, it's like YouTube, but with like actual experts and you, it's a like curated where you actually know you're getting good content and good information. Um, and it's like 10 bucks a month and you can get workshops on like any given topic. So that is one of my favorite business expenses because if I need to learn something, if someone on my team needs to learn something, I can search on Skillshare first and let them take a workshop. So sometimes like if I don't know something and like, you know, Ginny or Obi like need to learn it, I can send them to Skillshare to take a workshop instead of me um, having to learn it and then train them on it. Um, so that's been an awesome thing. It's also just amazing for me in terms of like, okay, I need to figure out podcast editing or I need to figure out YouTube. There's workshops for everything on there. Um, I do have a link for them as well. Um, this gives you two free months to try out. So you can try that down in the description. All right, newly, again, this is the second one where I'm like, is it a business expense? Like, I don't, I don't know. But I will tell you that it has been an awesome thing for me this year. We've already talked about newly. Um, we'll talk about it again. I'm obsessed with it. It's constantly linked in my description because almost all of my good clothes come from there. Um, it's just something that I signed up for that I have not regretted for a moment because I'm now able, when I do webinars, when I do speaking engagements, when I do pictures for Instagram, I feel confident that I have like nice clothes to wear. Um, and especially as someone who lives in a plus size body, like that's something that I haven't always had or always felt confident in. Um, and I come from like being a poor kid, you know? And so buying nice clothes is something that really overwhelms me. Um, I feel uncomfortable with it. And so newly just sending them to me, I get to wear them and feel them um, and then decide if I'm gonna keep them or not. But I, you know, 80% of the time send them back. Um, but it's just such a nice way to have nice quality clothing without, um, you know, worrying so much about spending, like I can wear a $300 coat without buying a $300 coat, uh, which I appreciate. Okay. This one is kind of twofold, um, so I'm gonna try and talk about it in, in a succinct way. So the first thing that I did this year was I hired a CFO and she was incredible. I hired her at the end of last year um, and I loved her and I just, I was obsessed with her. Um, when 2020 happened, my business took a hit and so I just couldn't afford to keep her on anymore. Um, so I had to transition from having her as a CFO um, to having a bookkeeping service. However, um, if I hadn't had her, so what she went in and did, she went into my back end and they made it or they organized the whole thing financially and like put it all the pieces in the right places and um, basically like ran my books and we would meet once a month and she would go through things with me. Um, I have her linked in the comments, the description below, but she also has an online course. So if I hadn't had her to go in and do all of that um, last year, then I would need her, I would need her course to go in and make sure that my numbers were organized and in the right place um, this year. So if you're in this situation where you're overwhelmed by what the money side of running a business, go check out Stephanie and she has a course that you should check out for sure. Um, and then when I had to move over, I did move over to Bench Accounting um, and they've been amazing. Like they are doing all of my book, book Bench bookkeeping. They're doing all of my bookkeeping now um, and they're just like killing it. Um, luckily, Stephanie really set me up well. So it was an easy transition over to Bench. Um, but you have your um, bookkeeper that you can just message every single day whenever you need to. They ask you to qualify expenses at the end of the month um, and they pretty much do everything for you. It's really easy, really affordable. I think it's bench.co. Um, I might, I don't have like an affiliate link that I know of for them, but they might have one in the app. So I'll check in the app and see if I can save you money um, that way. Um, so yeah, they're just apps, they're incredible. Um, you can do everything through them, they cover it all. They even will do your taxes if you want them to, it's an additional fee, but they can and will do that for you. Um, yeah, so far, great experience with Bench and with Stephanie was, she was incredible, but obviously, you know, sometimes you things phase out. Okay, 
The next one is the Full Focus Planner. Um, and I would say also the Life Map Collective Planner. Um, I'm using the Life Map Collective right now. Full Focus is what I use for most of the year. Um, I will link both of those below. Full Focus I have an affiliate link for and Life Map I do not. Um, but both of those planners are in full alignment with what I do in Brave Collective and they so they have been an awesome support. I'm doing a full video on day planners that I love for January, so stay tuned for that. Okay, the next one is we're second to last. The next one is Bonfire. Bonfire is a merch service where you can launch merch as a campaign. So we do um we do our coffee mugs through another company and they're kind of long lasting. But then this year we wanted to do some t-shirts or sweatshirts and Bonfire reached out and they have been absolutely amazing. Their model is you can't, you do a campaign launch. So you create your product, then for two weeks it, it goes live. Let's push the pressure on people to like buy it in, in real time. And then you can either re-up the campaign if you want to or just kind of let it die or put it on your storefront. So um, we had an incredible experience with them. If you're looking at launching a merch line, if you're wanting to do t-shirts or sweatshirts, especially check out Bonfire because it was such a good, good experience for us. Okay, the last one. And also I don't have an affiliate link for Bonfire, but they're awesome. You can, you can check them out below. The next one is Gravy. This is our final one. Gravy is my payment um, like payment saver option. I'm gonna say that again. Gravy is like the people who like save missed payments for me. So I basically tell, I pay them a monthly fee. Um, they're, they learn the language of my company. They, they speak to my customers like kindly and warmly. Um, they have an email address that's associated with my company. And it's just like I have another person on my team whose sole job it is to recover payments. So missed payments or failed payments. Um, if someone quits paying, they go after those payments. For a long time, I was just losing all of that money because I don't have the time or attention to detail to go in and like keep track of who's paying and who's not paying. And that's kind of a big deal for someone who especially like most of my money is recurring payments. And so if people aren't paying me um, and I'm not asking them to pay me, then it's like kind of a big deal. But this allows me to maintain healthy, happy relationships with my clients and someone is recovering those payments. So it has been amazing. They take a commission on the payments that they recover and you pay them a, a monthly fee. Um, but I haven't regretted a second of it, like at all. And, um, yeah, you can mess, you can check them out. I might have, I don't think I have an affiliate for them, but maybe I do. I'll look and see if I do. And then I'll link it if I do for you guys. <sighs> So those are the business expenses I didn't regret this year. I'm rolling them out like one by one on Instagram this month. So I compiled the list for that, but I wanted to do them on YouTube as well for you. Um, if you have any questions about any of those, um, let me know in the comments and I will get them to you. Um, as of right now, you know, it is about 530. I'm about to start dinner and then we're gonna just kind of hang out tonight and um, our little is about to go back to his mom's house. And so we will, I'm going to call the vlog here, I think. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you on day 16. I am losing track. I think day 15. Y'all. Day 16. Cheers. <laughs>